Applications of Differentiation, Optimization Practice A. A rectangular garden is enclosed by a wall on one side and a fence on the other three sides. If the length of the fence is 100 meters, what is the maximum possible area of the garden? For questions like these, what we want to do is reduce the question from two variables to one. We do this by first noting the constraint condition. We're told that the length of the fence is 100 meters. So designing an equation for that, we have that 2x plus y equals 100. Now, we want only one variable instead of two. So let's rewrite y and isolate it so that we can substitute later. y is equal to 100 minus 2x. Next, the question is asking for the maximum area. So what we want to optimize is this area. Well, the area of a rectangle is just the height times the length. That's x times y, but that's also the same as x times, based on our substitution, 100 minus 2x. So our real goal is actually to maximize this function here, x times 100 minus 2x. Let's do that. A maxima occurs when the derivative is equal to zero. We may also have to worry about the derivative changing signs, so let's keep that in mind. The function a, when we take the derivative, is the following. It's just the derivative of 100x minus 2x squared, and by the power rule, it's pretty easy to find this derivative. It's just 100 minus 4x. Now, this derivative becomes 0 when x equals 25. So that suggests that that should be our maxima. There's just one small detail we have to check, which is the derivative should be increasing into the maxima and decreasing out of it, based on drawing our picture here. It should go from positive to negative. So let's quickly check that that happens. When x is less than 25, this derivative is 100 minus something less than 100. That's positive. If x is more than 25, then this is 100 minus something larger than 100. So the derivative is indeed negative. This tells us that we have a maxima as desired. We have that x is 25, and so our final answer is just plugging x back into a. We get 25 times 50, that's 1250 meters squared. Looking at the solution, notice that we had to turn two variables into one. Area can be written as x, y, but we don't really want the y there. We want to turn y into a function of x, which we did using the 100 meters of fence condition. From there, we found a, the area was 100x minus 2x squared, and so the derivative was 100 minus 4x. This is 0 when x is 25, and then there are several ways to make sure that this is a maxima. We can either use the first derivative test or the second derivative test. In both cases, we just have to check that the first derivative goes from positive to negative so that we actually are at a maxima. We check and that indeed works. So our answer is just 25 times 100 minus 50. That's 1250 meters squared.